All right, everybody, this is the program called Audacity, which I think I've showed you before. It allows you to do recordings of things, um, but it also allows you to do some generation of, of things like tones. And so I'm going to do that here to kind of generate the frequency that we found out was in the string with the cup example. And the last one, just to, to kind of hear what that sound looks like or sounds like, maybe is a better way to say that. So I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a new track. Uh, mono is fine. And then I'm going to generate uh, tone. And the tone I want is 263 hertz. That's what I calculated was it going to be. And amplitude of 0.2, that's fine for the sound. The higher that is, of course, the louder the sound is. And then I'm going to do it for a duration of 20 seconds uh, and say OK. So it's generated that. It's this purple bar here. If I zoom in a little bit, you can actually see uh, that that is a nice, healthy sine wave or sine curve here. And when I play it, that sine curve is actually going to give me uh, kind of the in and out of the speaker at 263 hertz in order to generate this tone uh, that we're going to hear. So I'm going to hit play on this and hold my microphone up to my speaker to uh, capture kind of what it sounds like. So here it is, uh, 263 hertz. That's it. So when we strum that kind of string, we would hear uh, 263 hertz. Of course, it wouldn't just be the fundamental. That's actually only the fundamental there. The, you would actually get some harmonics in there as well, which make it more, sound more like banjo or guitar-like uh, as you go. Um, and you would be kind of a but it would still be at that same frequency for the fundamental. So hopefully that's interesting. And we're going to move on to the second sample problem.